Hey everyone, thanks for clicking on this video. It is going to be a quick tutorial on a brown cut crease with the red lip. You know, nothing like, oh my God, I can't do that. Anybody can get this look and it's really cute for the holidays, hence the background. It's gonna be a voiceover video, so I'll just be talking away through it so you'll be able to follow it. Um, thanks for clicking on the video again guys. If you haven't already, please subscribe. I'll see you in the next one. Bye The first palette I pick up is the Duce by Julius Place Grabbing the dark brown in the corner. I go ahead and pat that on the outer edge of my eye It doesn't have to be perfect at first because remember we are going to blend so right now I'm just literally putting this on half of my eyelid basically Here I am just blending this to my liking. I like to bring it a little bit longer than my end of my eyebrow, um, just because it looks a lot more professional and pulled together with the other colors when you start adding it. So right now, just blend, 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 blend on both eyes. Don't forget to blend upwards towards the eyebrow. It just creates a more dramatic effect in the end, so please do. Using the same palette, the color Crips, I believe it's called, and a smudging brush, I'm going to apply this on the inner corner of my eye lid, um, making sure it blends right into the dark brown. Next, I'm gonna cut crease. And literally, girls, you know how to do that. You know, I don't need to explain this part. You girls got it. <laughs> After cutting my crease, I pick up another palette. This one's by Too Faced, Chocolate Gold. Using the shade Rolling in Dough, I apply this all over the concealer. Next, I pick up Old Money and blend in the dark brown to the Rolling Dough eyeshadow like so. Alright, with the different brush, I pick up Rich Girl and I apply this all over the concealed part of my eyelid. Because the sparkle kind of fades into the other um, shadows that I put on my eye, I like to go back and touch up every color that I use. So as you can see, I'm using chocolate and defining the outer end of my eye. And then I go back with Crips and reshade with that one as well. And this literally, girls, is a step. It's like super necessary. So don't forget to do it. If you've seen my previous makeup videos, you know that this is my favorite eyeliner. It's from Wet n Wild and it's called the Mega Liner. It's the best, I love it. So that's exactly what I'm doing right now, just putting some liner on, giving myself a little wane. Next, I just curl my lashes like so. Then I go ahead and apply my falsies. Once I apply them both, I like to look in the mirror at different angles and kind of make sure that they're sitting correctly because there's nothing worse than one eyelash pointing downwards and the other one going up, not cute. Here, I just brush away the um, powder I had under my eyes and kind of blend that into my skin. Using Kylie Jenner's Nice Palette, I pick up this white shade in the corner and apply that underneath my brow bone and the inner corner and blend that in. With Kat Von D's Shade Light Palette, I go ahead and contour my face, cheekbones, my chin, my nose, my forehead. You know, you know the drill. Here we go, look. Ah. <laughs> Just kidding. So I felt like I still had some powder, extra powder anyways, underneath my eye. Go ahead and wipe that off. Using the same smudging brush from earlier in the color chocolate from the Doucet palette, apply that on my lower lash line and kind of blend that down. I feel like it makes my eyes look bigger. 
using Sephora's palette here, and this one's called Spice Market Blush Palette. I pick up the orange shade and go ahead and put that on my cheek. The highlight that I'm using is the Coco Collection by Kylie Cosmetics. And with this one, I'm just gonna use both highlighters that are in the palette, and I'm gonna highlight my nose, my cheekbones, Cupid's bow. So I put some of them in the bottom of my lip right here in the chin area. I feel like it just gives me the extra little glow. And yeah. Last but not least, I apply this red lipstick, and this one's Red Velvet by Kylie Jenner. I absolutely love this. It's so smooth, and it almost dries matte, but it feels moisturized. I love it. <laughs> and that's it. This is the finished look. You can literally dress this look up or dress down, you know, for the holidays, like I'm wearing my cozy sweater, and it's totally appropriate. Or you can put a fancy dress on and celebrate. Yes, I hope you girls enjoyed this video. Give me a like. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.